Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to allocate or add more RAM to Minecraft 1.15. I'm going to be going over every step of this, including how to figure out how much RAM you have to add to Minecraft, in addition to how to figure out if you have, you know, a 64-bit system or a 32-bit system, which does matter whenever you are, you know, going to add more RAM to Minecraft, and 32-bit systems only allow you to add a max of 2 gigs of RAM, whereas 64 bit systems allow you to add unlimited. So that's why that's important. We're going to be going over everything in this video. But first, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS checking Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you were looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy, you can check out Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. So the first thing you want to do is from your desktop here, go ahead and click the little Windows icon. Now for me, that's going to be in the top left of my screen, but for you, it's going to be in the bottom left of your screen. But either way, it's going to be in the top or bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon, and then go ahead and type in system information. See, system information. Then here, you're going to have this system information app. Go ahead and click on that, and it's going to open up basically everything about your computer's hardware. What we're interested in is two things. The first is system type x64 basically means you have a 64-bit PC, right? If it's x64, that means you can add as much RAM as your computer has available to Minecraft and it'll run it perfectly fine without pretty much any issues whatsoever. However, if you have a x86 based system, that means you can only add two gigs of RAM to Minecraft. 99% of people watching this video are going to have an x64 based system, and that's going to be perfectly fine. However, if you do have an x32 or x86 based system, that means you're going to only be able to add 2 gigs of RAM to Minecraft. Now we also want to come down here to install a physical memory, total physical memory. They're going to be the same number there. Basically, that's how much RAM you have in total on your computer. I wouldn't recommend dedicating more than half of this amount to Minecraft unless you have like four gigs of RAM, at which point, yeah, I would actually still recommend doing two gigs. So overall, don't give more than half of this RAM to Minecraft. However, if you have like 16 gigabytes, you shouldn't really need more than six to eight gigabytes unless you're running stupid modded Minecraft. Like four gigabytes of RAM is gonna be perfect for vanilla Minecraft, and you know, eight gigabytes is gonna be great for heavily modded Minecraft like FTB. So really and truly, you should probably never go over eight gigabytes of RAM, but nevertheless, see how much you have here. You never wanna do more than 50% of the amount of RAM you have installed on your computer right there into Minecraft. So now that you've figured out those numbers, it is time for us to go ahead and add more RAM. So to do that, let's go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.15. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Minecraft, specifically the Minecraft launcher, not Minecraft 1.15. What you then wanna do is come over here to installations here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this play.breakdowncraft.com installation because that's the one I like to play on. That is our Minecraft server, play.breakdowncraft.com. And actually, we're gonna be joining it later in this video. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and click the three lines here. And then we can go ahead and click edit. And then once we do that, so we're just clicking three lines over here. It doesn't matter what version, whether you're doing the latest release or whatever. Click the three lines and then click on edit. And then once you're here, you want to click on the more options tab here. I'm also going to switch this to the latest version, but nevertheless, we'll click on the more options tab and then come down here to where you see XMX, whatever it is. 2G is what it is by default. This one had already been up to 4G, but whatever it is, that is going to be the gigs of RAM you're adding to Minecraft. So in this case, we want to up it to, let's say, six gigabytes. That's overkill for vanilla Minecraft. How much RAM should you add to Minecraft? Well, if you're playing vanilla Minecraft, which means no mods, no anything installed in it, really and truly, four gigabytes of RAM should be plenty. However, if you're playing modded Minecraft, and let's say you're playing FTB, which is very, 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 very resource intensive, then you want to probably change that to about eight gigabytes, assuming you have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. Never add more than half the amount of RAM your computer has here. Minecraft can run perfectly fine off of two gigs of RAM without any issues. But nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and set it to six gigabytes just because why not? And then you want to go ahead and click save here. And then we want to go ahead and click play. Now, at this point, Minecraft should open up fine. But if you have a 64-bit system, you verified it, but for some reason you still can't add more than two gigabytes of RAM, it's because you only have 32-bit Java. So what you need to do is uninstall Java, right? Completely remove Java from your computer. And then, and to do that, by the way, you would just go to apps, right? You would just go add or remove programs here. And then in here, you would just come in and remove Java. Hold on, there we go. I had to move from my second monitor, but you would come in here 
and you'll see Java is in here. You would uninstall all of these, right? Just uninstall all of this. And then you would go to the description down below where we have the breakdown.xyz slash Java, and it will take you here. And this is our tutorial on how to download and install Java. And basically it's gonna go through everything. It says for mods and servers, but overall it is for Minecraft. So if you're having that issue where you can't add more than two gigabytes of RAM, that is, and you have a 64-bit system, you verified that at the beginning of the tutorial, it's because you need 64-bit Java, and this walks you through how to do that. As you can see, it actually walks you through, you know, making sure Java is installed, going through, getting the correct Java for your system. It is all covered here. So, nevertheless, once you've done that, you'll finally be able to add more RAM to Minecraft and then obviously launch it. So let's go ahead and jump into the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com here, and once we jump in, we'll be able to hit F3, and we'll be able to confirm that, in fact, we do have eight gigs of RAM, or six gigs of RAM, excuse me, added to Minecraft. So we hit F3, up here in the top right, you will see six megabytes, or sorry, 6,000 megabytes, also known as six gigabytes of RAM added. Every 1,000 gigabytes of RAM you add to Minecraft, it is, um, you know, a gig. So every 1,000 gigs you, or megabytes you add, you add one gig. So we do have 6,000 megabytes, which is equal to one gig. As you can see, we do have, we're not even using a gig of RAM right here, 13% is what we are using and um, yeah, overall running at a solid 60 FPS and everything is looking good. So there is that. Now let's talk about this, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. This is medieval survival here. So if we go ahead and do slash spawn, you will see this is the incredible medieval survival spawn, the Brookhaven castle here. There's over 30 custom quests in medieval survival that you will absolutely love. And um, yeah, they're literally discoverable everywhere. There's a guy back there with one, there's some in there, there's some up there. It's absolutely incredible. And this isn't the only custom world we have as well. We also just launched slash shop. It's not the shop you would think of though. Our entire economy here is player based, meaning all of these shops are in fact player shops that you can check out and you know buy things from and all of that stuff. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool and a ton of fun. And yeah, just come check it out, play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Currently 46 people online on Medieval Survival. We also have an aquatic survival server, which is a slash shop based economy. So when you do slash shop, it actually opens up a shop and you can buy and sell things to the server. And that uh, has 48 people online. Then we do have custom Skyblock as well with 26 people over there. Our Skyblock server has OP enchants and just, it's a ton of fun. So come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com. I can't wait to see you online and um, yeah, come check it out. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I am out. Peace.